introducing first, taking his way to the ring from Hell's Kitchen, New York City. This is Bobby Reed. Well, Taz, especially because you lived it, I cannot wait to get your read, your spin on the pre-match comments from both this man, Bully Ray, as well as his opponent tonight in his Falls Count Anywhere street fight, Tommy Dreamer. Tell us about your feelings on how they laid out the history between these two men. Well, it's pretty uh, pretty much dead on as you see Bully ripping up the house of hardcore Tommy Dreamer's promotion, ripping up that poster that that fan had. But looks, I, I think that both Dreamer and Bully pretty much summed it up. Honestly, I mean, they're, they're uh, spot on. I mean, Dreamer definitely was one of the men who recognized this man's talents back in the day. I think uh, you, you were on that train as well, I, I right? Was one of them, yeah. I mean, I was one of them. I can't take full credit on it. Uh, but I'll leave that to Tommy. But um, I got to say this much. Whenever these two men hook it up, I don't care if there's a friendship or not. It's going to be ugly, it's going to be physical, it's going to be violent. And Tommy Dreamer, with his House of Hardcore promotion, is doing very well and very proud of it. It's his baby. And I respect that of Tommy. I know Bully respects that of Tommy. And I know what Bully said is the truth. He felt very disrespected that Tommy has never invited him here hmm. to any of the House of, House of Hardcore shows. And I told Bully, listen, man, Tommy's doing his thing. Don't worry about it. But Bully just got pissed off more and more. And what way to get to Tommy Dreamer can run in on his show and attack his mentor, Terry Funk. Shut the music off right now! history between Tommy Dreamer and Bully Ray. But I mean, you also mentioned the word respect that Bully has for what Dreamer's accomplished. It sounds like it's too respectful of Dreamer and a pure wrestling legend by the name of Terry Funk. Well, no, it's, it's not respect there in regards to Bully toward Funk, obviously, and, and, and Dreamer, because like as I pointed out, Bully felt slighted, and I could see his point. I'm just, I, I, you know, I, I, I respect what Tommy's doing. I think it's great. I mean, we've all had great matches. All of us guys from back in the day in ECW, we've all had great matches right in this building. So that was then, this is now. And it's great to see these two guys still in great, amazing condition, ready to bang heads. I really feel this is old school. I feel like I'm going back in time. Because last time I was in this building, I got about 21 stitches across the top of my head by the guy wearing the shorts, him. <laughs> but, I was the but I was the victor, but that's not a story. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, this is the kind of a match that when you think about the, the whole premise of hashtag old school, this is the match that you envision. Bully Ray, Tommy Dreamer, falls count anywhere in a street fight, and you can just sense the tension between... The, well, it's that respect word again, and there was well, certainly a lack of it with that. That's uh, that's a way to get any man, especially someone like the innovator of violence, Tommy like Dreamer. Terry Funk. Ooh. Well, this is uh, this is starting it basically the way I thought it would. These guys just trading blows. Yeah, I don't think we can expect to see much of a wrestling match between these two, 
And, and when you add in the street fight stipulation, you make it falls count anywhere, and you just know the, the background, the personalities, and the history of these two men, it's gonna be nothing but pure physicality, and it has been right from the outset as Dreamer tries to get things rolling coming out of the corner. Yeah, it's definitely a, uh, I, don't, I don't care. I mean, listen, the hitch, history between these two men, they've, they've had a lot of great times. I've had a lot of great times with them, and there's been some rough times too. But right now, once it's go time, the bell rings, it's all business. That's how we all rolled back in the day, and it's great to see that still going on right now. But there's legitimate heat between these two dudes because of the attack and the impromptu running oh, that that bully did on this man in this same building in this building exactly and then when you factor in the relationship that tommy dreamer has had with terry funk for so many years you know that that tommy dreamer i think there's just a little bit extra in the tank for dreamer tonight whoa what about spitting so much face hey. Oh, there's a cold one for Dreamer. I really throw it back in time. Where's the Sandman? This is the Metallica. What's going on here? <laughs> wow. Wow, oh, this is great. I mean, the, the, our live audience here at Poughkeepsie. A little fan get, interaction. Yeah, getting to experience this. I mean, the way, the way it was, you know, and it's just great. I mean, I, I think right now, Bully might be regretting the fact that, that he came in and attacked Terry Funk. On, on Dreamer's show here. Uh -oh, We're momentarily is. regretting oh. it. That's a good way to explode someone's yam bag. <laughs> right on one of those steel guard rounds. We talk about no give. Let's take another look here, Mike. I know you love calling nut shots. Why don't you call us? Let me, let me step on in here and take care of this. Watch this. Up into the air goes Dreamer and crotched right across the guard rail. Uh, it was a sudden stop, is what that was. I don't care if you're old school, middle school, high school. <laughs> no school. No school. That hurts. <laughs> That's hurt school. That's... <laughs> this is where you don't want to be if you're dreaming. You don't want to have that moment Shut of match. Up, you old bastard! Yeah. Well, you know what? I don't, I'm starting to think Hebner, he might even be older than Terry Funk. That's almost impossible. Wait a minute, let me do the math on that. Terry Funk's like 102, well, they right? said 69. Well, I don't know, about 69 times two. Funk's had about 50, so you maybe got him at 60. A, you, you got Funk at 138 years old, basically, I'm, is what yeah, you've yeah, got. Yeah, yeah, but he looks great. And he's had about 20 to maybe 30 retirement matches. Oh, that's real story. I love Terry Funk, don't get me wrong. 20 to 30, that's in the last year. I was at one of his retirement matches in Amarillo, Texas, and at, at his ranch, Double Cross Ranch. Yeah with a bunch of the other guys back in the day. And that yeah, was how no outside here. Close cut anywhere. And that had to be, that had to be uh, probably 17, 16 years ago, something like that, whatever the heck it was. So he would have been 120, he about retired 122 then. at that yes. point. <laughs> and he still had matches after that. Oh, uh, anyway. Right now, but you digress. Control. I'm digressing. Dream is in control here. It's a big bulldog. Oh, oh watch out. Uh -huh. Well, this is, when, when you have a match, with guys that are that familiar with each other. That bulldog out of the corner by Dreamer, it may work on other people. Better vary your yeah. offense a little bit when you're facing somebody like Bully Ray. And Dreamer is a very big individual. I mean, Tommy's about six foot four, and, and, and he's well over the 210 pound mark. Let's put it that way. Hmm. He's a big man. So uh, I've had the opportunity to wrestle both these fellas a lot. Dreamer, I've had a, a boatload of matches, but right now, hold, hold a minute. A little table time here. And again, exactly what you would expect at hashtag old school in a matchup involving Bully Ray. You just had that thought in the back of your mind the table could get introduced. No dreamer's going to introduce Bully to the table with the sliding baseball style drop kick. Well, so there, if anybody can counter the masterpiece actions with furniture and tables that Bully has, it's the innovator of violence, Tommy Dreamer. That's why I was so looking forward to this match, because so often you see Bully Ray in a matchup like this, and it's against somebody who doesn't have the experience that, ooh, that Dreamer does right, in, exactly. in this type of matches. Oh, splash. Oh. Bully airborne follows with a pin attempt and a near fall. See the height him. that Bully got, the athleticism on that fat boy uh, splash. That was impressive, man. Just the, the, the way he popped up, his vertical leaping ability. People don't realize the athleticism of Bully Ray. Now, I'm telling you, this guy is a legit athlete. 
with great cardio for a guy as thick and oh, big as he is. Man. His violence, as you can see right here. You know, Unparalleled. You, you've got to hit Tommy a lot more than that. And Bully knows that to hurt Tommy. You've got to really keep the pressure on Tommy. Bully I, I'm telling you, that steel chain with listen, bad intentions. Go ahead. Talk about battle tested. I, I, I hit Tommy one night in Maine, Bangor, Maine, with about seven suplexes in a row, and he kept getting up. I mean, not a back of his head and everything. Tough as nails. This guy, Bully Ray, in this building, as I said, split my head open in an FTW rules match. This is false count anywhere. And right now, Bully don't realize my man Dream has got himself that cane in his hand. Okay. That's his light stick, isn't it? Well, hopefully, Dream hits the ref. Well, Hefner's not backing down. Can we know that the resilient, we don't know, never back down Tommy Dreamer has plenty of fight left as well as he's swinging that kendo stick. A Russian, Russian kendo stick, Singapore leg whip. Pin and in this false count anywhere match. You get instead of a I got you. Russian leg whip. This is Dreamer trying to get a pin inside the ropes, inside the ring, and now the steel chain. It's in the hands of a man whose nickname is the innovator of violence. Look at that, right over the oh, face. That's, that's nice. Remind me of that great picture from years ago with Greg Valentine. Remember that? Uh, it was against Roddy Piper, Do I believe. Dog collar match. Dog collar match. Of course, his face. Sure. Look at this now. Look, Dreamer, again, being innovative. That's a teriyaki <laughs> There you go. Dreamer just gets... Yeah, ch oh. Channeling the Funker himself. You're really enjoying this. No, just treat you're, 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 you're enjoying the, the oh, level of I violence know. in this match. Because I love these because, guys. And, and because you've been in there with both of I them have. and you felt that. These guys are my best. Tommy was my best man when I got married. I love these guys. I love watching them beat the crap out of each other. It's awesome. Oh, just like that. Dreamer, deck with the bully clothesline. Whoa. And this could be the opening that Bully was looking for. That, that table shot. Yeah, that table definitely is not going to be used for beverages this evening. But like back in the day, there's a boatload of furniture <laughs> under the old ring. You pull out a patio set, a barbecue, propane tanks, whatever you need. Uh, cheese graters, did you mention that? Of course, you got cheese graters. There's definitely a soup strainer. A soup strainer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The strainer soup. And right now, this is all about old school. A little Romano Provolone. What do you want to do? Oh. And the greater, now in the hands of Dreamer. But Bully turns around in those, for those quick, short lefts. Little flip flop. Oh, oh flip, look at this. Flip flop, no fly. Five on two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy. With a cheese grinder in there. Oh. I like it. Single arm, DDT, straight down, leads to the cover, and a near fall. Another two count for Dreamer. Tommy getting a little frustrated right here. Couldn't get the win on Bully. I had to touch on something you mentioned right at the top of this match. And as it progresses, I, I think of it even more. Isn't it amazing that, that after the time that has, has gone on since these two first got together back in the early 90s, and you look at the shape, you look at the condition, that these guys are in. It's amazing, and I think we've talked about it at length. Absolutely. Bully I, Ray is in the best, he is. In best condition of Bully his life. Is, Dreamer is, and I am. We all are. It's unbelievable. Yeah, two out of three ain't bad. Oh. Oh. If, you, if, if, if you're not too blown up, why don't you call the replay? <laughs> all right, let's check this out. Dreamer came in with that top <laughs> round, and he got blasted in the face with a straight kick. Great job, counteraction maneuver by Bully Ray. And now let's see if Bully can take it to the next level. If he can now, well, not quite satisfied with the amount of punishment that he's dished out to Dreamer. Again, this is basically anything goes. Balls cut anyway, you can do yeah, whatever you want. this is encouraged. They're saying, I think they're saying, what is it? Excuse me, wax sack? Wha wax no, sack. No, oh wait. Oh, cheesy nut sack. Oh, oh. it's one or the other. Can I say that? That's pay-per-view. Oh, no. Watch this. Dreamer 
Has Bully exactly where he wants him. Gonna line him up at the table. And, uh oh, he drives him through with the driver. Here's the cover. Creeps the yard. Hebner counts one. Hebner counts two. Oh, Bully digs down deep. Isn't it ironic that in a match that he's dedicated to Terry Funk, that it's the Louis Spicoli playbook that Absolutely. Dreamer goes to with, well, the Spicoli driver, the Dreamer driver. Here's the driver. Oh, and it works to perfection. But right now, Dreamer, he's got some other bad intentions in mind. And Bully laid out. I'm, I'm surprised that Bully was able to kick out after being put through the table. We always talk about Dreamer's resiliency, and it's the same thing for Bully, who, oh! oh a chap with the weapon, piece wow. of the table, and wow. he just jammed it into his midsection. That's straight metal right there. That's really tough. And you can see how dangerous it is right there. Sliced right through the arm of Dreamer. And Bully going to go, go for a ride right here. Time suplex off the top. Oh, oh and the guardrail! Landing on the I forgot it was there. God! Bully didn't. Well, that was by design, and it worked. Great job, man, by Bully there. Big oh, impactful got a couple, move got a couple, got a by Bully. Leads to the pin. Here it is. No, just two. Still well, life left in Dreamer. Let's uh. Sorry, Mike, let's take a look here. Watch this, wow. that superplex on that guard. Another the angle. Oh, oh the tails with every shot. Elbow first. And I know we, we always talk about Dreamer's resilience and his ability to come back, his never-say-die attitude. But that one's gonna be a tough one to go. More? Oh, I told you, there's, a, there's tons. There's, we got skins gotcha. and skins of tables under there. How much? Skids. Skids? Skids, skids is like a, 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 a pallet. Skids. Pallet. A pallet. I used to work gotcha. in a warehouse, so those that, oh, well, Dreamer, Dreamers. <laughs> used to come in on the train, right? Yeah, well, I did a lot of work, smooth power stuff we didn't know nothing about. But Tommy taping himself up here, because he's got that open wound. Not exactly a paramedic type of uh, tape job on that open wound, but, oh, no, wait a minute. Oh, no, come on. I, I mean, there, there's a oh, line, there's, there's a line, know. and you don't want to cross that line. But then you think about the history between these two, the friends that became enemies. And I see the table, uh -oh. Uh -oh. I see the lighter fluid, Watch out, but Bully. I also see Dreamer lining it up and using that Singapore cane with the knockout oh. on it all with a landing by Bully. Face first on that guard oh. rail. Oh no, Bully should have never pulled that, that lighter fluid out. Now this maniac Dreamer no, Tommy, no! Well, down the way, Earl. God, you smell that? Oh. <coughs> you smell it? <laughs> You're not kidding. He's putting his what? mouth all over. Oh! Out of his mind! <laughs> oh, jeez! That thing's gonna go up like a torch. God. I say torch. But let's see here. Oh, thirsty fans, they love it. I kind of go oh, oh. Oh, Just as Dreamer was going to put the fire onto the Ooh. table. Oh, it's the low blow. And then the cutter, the Bubba cutter, as he covers and he gets the pin. The winner of the match, Bully Ray. Well, not the uh, positive reaction here. Um, Bully, Way Bully Ray stealing that victory. Dreamer's home turf, it's what you could imagine. This is, this is where he runs his house of hardcore business and shows. But, but as this replay package is going to show, this matchup in terms of the physicality was everything that we anticipated. Well, it's just what we thought, and, and, and that, that was kind of where that shut down Dreamer when he got crushed. And if a Tommy able to come back, it's the holy driver, Dreamer driver, through that table, but then the superplex on the guardrail. Oh. And see, Bully goes back to the midsection with the low blow, nails that cutter, and grabs the victory. Grudge, rivalry settled, with Bully Ray the winner in this street fight over Tommy Dreamer.